Yeah, Ben Askren, you've obviously mentioned, you know, as a competitor, wanted to take on him. What was your reaction to him retiring last Thursday? <coughs> I didn't know he was a retired. <laughs> I thought he was retired. I mean, he had to cost us what? Uh, when did he fight? Um, this November 2017. 2017, so we're 2019. So I figured if you, if you haven't been injured or hurt, you can know, fight it. I think George has done what he needed to do in the sport. He didn't have to prove it. Of course, I want him to fight me because that's for me. That's for my legacy. For his legacy, he didn't need to fight Tyrone. He already fought the Johnny Injuries, the Kai the Hardys, the Dead, um, Matt Hughes, the John Fitches. He already did that. And come back in a division, where she might argue with me, the toughest division <laughs> in the world, to come back and fight us now that we have the, the best nutrition, the best science, the best strength conditioning, everybody's training with the best coaches. It's not the same era. He doesn't have to come back and prove that. Um, he wants to come back and tap in on that paper model he helped build. And I came out with him. You know, coming back and fighting Bisring was smart. You know, Bisring was known for having powerful hands, was known for being a wrestler or a rapper, so what better fight? Khabib is not very well known for being a crazy uh, dynamic striker. He's a guy that's going to wrestle you, wrestle you, take you down. That probably doesn't put fear into Justin here. But to get knocked around and get cussed and get hit and maybe not be able to get that shot where you go, uh, go, go for it. Um, maybe I'm not the fighting girl, but maybe he doesn't draw the interview that could be coming off of a kind of McGregor fight rule. So I don't I don't knock him for that ball. He had a great run. Very few fighters. I think he may be the only UFC fighter I've seen him walk away twice with belt each time. And um, you know, hats off to him, he had a great career. He, he set the set the foundation for us and um, now you can go do something different. How about you, Ben, about about you? Were you surprised to see that uh, he retired? Yeah, I feel the same way. Like, he was kind of retired. And it's like, I don't feel like he set a hard line in the sand. I felt like he left the door open. If something interesting in the future, he's going to come back. So that's kind of... The big fight. Where, big yeah, fight that's kind of where he was before he started. And I always tell him, hey, GSP, like, Tyron hits pretty hard, but I don't hit that hard. So if you want to fight me, <laughs> instead of him, that's perfectly fine. He's worried about that, though. He said that. He's worried he about the yeah. You know, having dementia... He talked to me about, you know, Tyler, you know, I made a lot of money in the sport, and he said, you know, um, you'll see when you get that belt and you become champion, they become different. You know, it's kind of talking to me about, you know, how being a champion is and the responsibility and, you know, sometimes the treatment. And, and just that he said, people didn't like it, but I, I mastered hitting and not getting hit. He said, I want to be able to have kids down the road and, you know, not be shaking around and not be able to, you know, have my wits about me. So, 